Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chair Potato, but you can call me Christian, and welcome back to Starfield. In the last episode, we went back to the Eye, checked on our friends. Um, unfortunately, Barrett did die. Everybody else did make it, though, so I guess that's good. We also went on a uh, wild goose chase looking for somebody called the Pilgrim. And at the end of that whole quest, uh, that quest line, we discovered that the Pilgrim was actually a Starborn, I think. We also discovered that Starborns are also humans, so once they piece together all the pieces of the artifact and they open the gate to Unity, that's where they go and that's what they become. So that's cool. This game has me really excited to learn more about the story. We're at the Lodge today because we're going to do a few more of the uh, main missions. We're going to do these two today, so that is that is where we are beginning. Let's go right up and uh, see what everybody's got to say. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. Goodbye yeah. to who? Oh. To Barrett. Oh, of course. Uh, I'll be there, Noel. I promise. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Oh, that's sad. Damn. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. It's the center of the multiverse. We're building the way to it. Wait. Say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Oh, Let's I do. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Apparently in another universe, I died and Barrett lived. He's the emissary now, a starborn. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. I think we should all take time to think about what this means. You're right. This is a lot to take in. Take some time to process, everyone. We finally have some answers. Now we need to figure out what to do with them. Uh, not to make a shot. Only if real life was so easy. Tail, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Thanks, Vlad. I'll follow up on these. Catch a smile out there. You need a ship with a grav jump range of 21 light years to reach your destination. Grav jump range is influenced by the ship's grav drive, the ship's mass, and your aerodynamic skill. All right, I think we're going to be upgrading the ship. So let's go ahead and see what this guy has to say. So right now we have 19 light years. Okay, so that was an upgrade. So the, so we have the Helios 200 grav drive now. We're going to go for the Helios 300 grav drive. Let's go ahead and accept. Bet. All right, now we have a better grav drive. All right, let's go and uh, warp to this next uh, solar system, huh? Oh, this one's far. Touching down, breaker, breaker. We're touching down on some, what looks to be piece of shit, barren moon yet again. Yep, barren, barren as fuck. All right. Hi. See ya. All right, we are back. No, ow. Oh, I really didn't want to get stabbed, but. Sure, why not? Die, bitch. Where's this other asshole? Oh, there you are. What up, asshole? Oh! Oh! Oh, you're Sam. Oh, I thought you were fucking running at me. You can't do that to me, bro. Oh, it's gonna be one of these facilities. All right, cool. Let's check it out. Now, ever since I did the my training montage, I've noticed a lot of these places are actually very, very similar. Like some of them, every once in a while, you might get like, you know, like the black sheep or whatever, the one that's not exactly like the others. But for the most part, they are 
pretty much the same. Yeah, so this, yeah, I've seen this room probably like 300 times. So there's like a way to go down that way. You guys will see in just a sec, but yeah, all these places are pretty much exactly the same. Which is very sad. Ow, bro. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to do some looting? You scared the shit out of me, dog. Okay, this is the way we gotta go. Alright, this should take us right to the lady we gotta whack. Hello! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh shit. Oh my god. Ah, no! Fuck. Was that, did I really have like no health or did they just wreck me that fast when I got in there? Fuck, where are we now? Uh, no, not sack. All right, we'll be right back. You know when you reach cave, you've you've made it to the right spot. All right, here we go. How pretty. I love these rooms so much. Oh no, go away, asshole. Die. Yeah, fuck you. I want to know what that stuff does that they drop, like, they, because they normally drop something. I want, I really want to know what it does. Yeah, let's get it. Wow. Same thing I've seen 300 times. All right, so where are we going now? We are going to Freya. So let's, uh, let's warp over here. Oh, this place has a blue star. How pretty. Okay, so we are in the Freya 3 system now. Oh, we're getting your call. I don't think we have time for that. Sorry, bud. We have made it to Freya 3. Oh, look at this place. Is there a city here? Or is this just like a little compound? Machina Research Station. Machina Research Station. You speaking. What is your business here? Um, responding to your distress signal. What? We haven't sent a distress signal. Oh, Nothing that's awkward. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. What are you trying to pull here? It said that there was an explosion in your high energy research lab. Really? The high energy research lab? All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. For security, I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. What's That's inside? fine. Stay with Sam's you. annoying anyway. Any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishida. Scan is... Hello. Clear. One moment. Hello. Captain Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. All right, let's, take, let's go. We'll take the back way up. So, uh... Nishina was... What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Oh! Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. What the... Easy, easy! Oh my God! What the hell Did I just? P it's called PTSD, man. And what? One minute you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. I was. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tech? Who are you working for? Stealth tech? I'm just insane. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Oh, yeah. Take the insane person deeper inside your facility. That, that's always a good idea. Oh, fuck. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Raphael. Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. What the fuck? I can the teleport? Signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? You're in bad shape. Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. 
It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water, but I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? That's a good question. Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But he's dead. What the fuck? No. No, Am no, I transferring? No. Oh, my, oh my god, wait. Sense. Am I Unless going between different accident, timelines? Maybe, maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... What? Slow down. Let's start with this accident. Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak, sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're, they're all dead. You were experimenting on an artifact. An artifact? You mean the metallic god? Oh! We should. Fuck, we're back. Wait, he's back. All right, we're on our way up. He was out. Yeah, something I weird's going on here. Director. Let's keep moving. Yeah, just fill him in while I'm fucking teleporting all around time and space. You can't miss it. Wait, what? Where did you say? Let's go. This way. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, we're back. Um. 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 Is this what wiped you guys all out? Oh, I hate you. Oh, you throw stuff? I didn't know that. This is disgusting. I feel like I'm playing Doom. Ah. These All, right. All right, can we please move, man, before it happens again? Thank you. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this Hello. is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan oh, are you Hughes related to Ethan? Disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, yeah, three. You can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. I'm shifting to an alternate universe or something. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. It's burned out. Raphael was the only survivor. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He yeah, so this is like an opposite Wait, thing. Burned out? Like opposite Wait. of my situation. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. He also said he found an artifact. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Oh, I do. I've seen what they can do. It's why I'm here. Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. I need to know what you were doing to it. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. Uh -oh. We still don't know what happened. Danny Phantom? There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. And then shut the damn thing off. What do you think? We haven't tried? The kill switch on the control unit isn't responding. The explosion must have damaged the failsafe. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. All right, all right, let me in there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. Maybe I could in the other universe. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. Yeah, first, believe me, I know. We have to do something about your shifting. Uh, I'm open to suggestions. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. 
If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. All right, Come so what me. the fuck the am I doing exactly? Fabrication lab next door. So we're gonna... F we're basically syn what synthesizing a way for me to travel back and forth like this? Is it... God damn, I hope this works. Oh, shit! And I'm gone. All right, I guess that's it. I guess we did it. It is now time to find out how the hell to get over there. Oh, hi. Yeah, don't. Don't. Don't you dare. 25. All right, last thing I need is for you fuckers to be higher than my level. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh. It's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and uh, I thought I'd finally lost it. Eh, not quite yet. I met with the director. We have to shut down the probe. But how? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't, I don't how have you been alive this. with no food or water if for I months? Seen you disappear with my own eyes, Maybe you just ran out. I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. Oh, it's, yeah, this is the... Oh, so yeah, this is the same facility. Because this is where Ethan was talking to the director, I think. Alright, let's do it. Oh! Back up! Oh, what the? You... Hi. Go. 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 Oh shit, I'm sorry. Oh god. I'm sorry. Let me get out of here. That was awkward. Hi. Did you miss me? Stay back! Oh, I hate these things so much. What are you... Ugh. Ew, you have like these things on you. Ugh. I hate it so much. Let's see, what do we got here? Security logs. Survey data downloaded. Now what do I do with that? Oh, I need that. Look at this. It's going to take hours to clear this out. Assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. What now? This looks like a dead end. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. It's probably shift. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. Hi. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just booked into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh -huh. I'm like Houdini. I'm trying to get to the fabrication lab. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Is there anything else you need? Uh, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Let's see if he can give us something. So we can persuade him here. I need something to fight the Kataxi in the other universe. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Oh, is this a new gun? Uh, What's the issue? I know you'd like to help me if you could. This isn't getting us... I know you. I know you have your reasons. I'm just trying to help. Look, I'd like to help, but there's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. That's better. Can we move on to the part where you give it to me? That's typical. Cool. Damn it. Sorry, I have to keep it on hand. Fuck. Sorry. Can I try it again? No, I can't. All right. Well, we failed that. Unfortunate. We were probably going to get a new gun, but I don't think that's happening anymore. Oh, and we're back. What's up, Raph? Did you find a way to, uh... Wait, so... Oh, is this... This is gonna turn into a puzzle, isn't it? Where am I? Oh, shit. God damn it, where am I now? Hello. What, did you get lost in the hallway? Yes. Uh, all right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. 
I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin All by right. adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93. I have a feeling this is going to be one of these instances where I'm probably going to have to fight waves of enemies. 97, 100. Ugh, and lift nothing. off. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The also, is just exposing it. We also see these things in the uh, temples. Step into the distortion, please. Um, all right. <sighs> Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. Oh, shit. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. What the fuck? Wait. Why do I have this thing now? I don't know what to do with it. Hello. What happened? Are you alright? It worked. So, the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I what? give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Alright, time to shut right. this down. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Hello. Well, then. What do you all want? All set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there oh, is thank you. one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Uh, there's no way there's to know. There's no way to be certain, but let's theorize. Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe, at least. The oh, that is, is terrifying. Which will you choose? I'm going to choose this universe. Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. Thirty people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. It's not an easy decision, but... I am grateful. Thank you. Now, it's time you are going. Alright, I guess we're going down. Let's get it. Nishina Research Station... Research Level Station, or something. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Lockdown is active. Current day. Override controls are this is fucking cool. Security terminals. This is giving me, giving me like Sonic CD vibes with like going back and forth from the future to past. Like, look how sick this is. What the fuck? I'll take the sealant. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. What the hell just happened? The fuck was that? Oh shit. Wait, are there people down here? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. All systems. Don't you fucking run up on me like that. Why does every enemy in this game like doing that to me? Sorry, other Vasco. Yes, this is gonna be kinda like a puzzle, I guess. Go through 
here. Oh, we gotta go to the future. Oh shit. Hopefully I don't botch this. Bet. Oh, thousand credits. I'll happily take that any day. Hello. Oh shit. God damn. Security system. Override. Bet. All right. A security lockdown is active. Emergency override. Yeah, shut up. Oh, okay, maybe that wasn't the solution. Damn. Oh my god, don't run up on me! Ah! Catastrophic death. Oh shit! Don't do it. <sighs> Get in there! Whoa, why do you fly like that when I... Let me get shot. You had some really weird ragdoll physics. Oh, you're behind me. How'd you get back there? Oh, God, and then back in this timeline, we got to fight these fucking things. Oh, ah, stay away. Ew. Oh, stay away. You almost got me. You almost got me. There was one right there. I don't know where it went. It's freaking me out. I gotta say, this is definitely the coolest mission we've had to do so far, though. I am loving this. Give me that. Oh! Ah! Get away. Jesus. Oh! Oh! Stay away. Stay the fuck away. I hate you. I hate you all. Let's see, did we finally make it? Override the security. Another security system. Let's go ahead and override that. Controls are available on designated security terminals. Oh shit, I think we finally fucking made it. Wow. Took long enough. This is a storage room, dude. This isn't even the end of it. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I can get you from a distance too, asshole. So this is the thing that's fucking with the artifact. Ow! Damn, it took a long time to get down here. And I'm sure in the past there's gonna be a whole bunch of robots and other stuff to fight. Oh! Get back! Ew, I hate these things so much. Don't touch me. Ew, don't touch me! Thank God for this gun, too. Things doing the Lord's work. Oh, wait, are some of these fucking things in the other universe, too? Oh, no. Oh, I have to walk down there. Oh. Oh. Don't you pop out. Good. Just a couple more, and we should be good. Uno mas.
Shut it down. All right, now we take it. Artifact Lambda. Hmm. Is it me or is that getting more intricate? How do we get out of here? So we gotta speak to Raphael again. Where the fuck... Where is he? Hopefully he's, like, right here. That would be fantastic. There we go. You're back. I wasn't sure if you were alive or... Or if you were going to come back for me. I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but... Why? Why not stay in that other universe? You needed me more than they did. I... Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not much, but I scrounged up a few things you might still be able to use. No, I I'm gonna be overcumbered. Anything else you find Damn it. lying around, too. No one's going to miss it. And as for me, I owe you. You ever need an engineer? Just say the word. Now, let's get off this damn rock. Wait, so, yeah, now I'm fucking overcumbered again. Thank you for that. All right, come on, Raphael. We're getting you out of here. Wait. Wait, this is the universe in the past still. What the fuck? Wait, it's a completely different planet. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, this just added. And my ship is still there? That doesn't make any sense. Why would my ship be here? This is so weird. Wait, so if I leave this planet, will everything go back to normal? Will I be in my same universe again, or...? Fuck you, get away from my ship. Bastards. Dude, this is bizarre. It's... It's still the same planet and everything, but... Just different timeline. This is so bizarre. This is gonna get so confusing. All right, so we are in our old solar system now. So we have to go to the Nova Galactic Research Station, which is on Earth's old moon. Let's get it. Let's go see what is going on, and what needs to be done. Moon base key. When did I get that? Right, let's see what this computer's got on it. Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being extra uh, contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see how many decimal points of PI it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whether it can uh, simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be time for that later. For now, I need to everyone concentrating on how to hit... On hitting our deadline, we're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. That should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. Project Prism launch. Uh, we're happy to announce that our first test launch of Project, Pr Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9 p.m. Reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on radio for the launch. We'll, we'll be recording the events, so be on your best behavior. Wee. Yeah, let's see what this is. Was complete. Total time five minutes twenty two seconds. Ride on schedule. How are the helium three valves holding Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day, the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. Okay, so they just took off. Using Jupiter's orbit right now. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell Wait, you that voice. Your digital data? Not in a million years, Nova. 
That voice was in Fallout 4. I can't remember who the hell it was, but that voice was in Fallout 4. So that's cool. So this is an old NASA uh, base here on the moon. So this is like the origins of where the spaceships, um, like where the computing uh, power, you know, got integrated in the spaceships. That's fucking cool. A little bit of lore. I'm all for it. Let's see, where are we going next anyway? I keep forgetting I don't even have to get back in there, back in my ship. Go to NASA. We have to go to Earth. NASA launch tower. Oh, shit. All right, let's do it. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> this is fucking cool, man. Let's use a quick med pack, but damn, this is sick. I am literally shaking. This is amazing. NASA. Cool, right? All right, I think we finally fucking made it. Power required. No way. Power cell. All right, we got power. Let's go. Nassau launch facility. Let's see what this place is all about. Launch procedures. I'm not reading that. Station delivery from Mars. Dr. Judith Tatian. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting hot samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the Station Log. Dr. Hmm. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to Station Log. Dr. Judith Tatian. Remember, no agricultural products last year. I've never been so nervous. And hit up the dune for the first. Station. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour diversion into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the Whoa. I, I don't know how much. Wait, so but doesn't NASA? Is so cool. Man, I could spend hours down here. I agree. Now, doesn't NASA have their sp their spot in Florida? Now, is that where this is? Is that where we are? Are we in Florida right now? Interesting to think about. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effect. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you can need to leave me to the collection. And now you want me to form alien no to with based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, guessing nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? But at least the museum wasn't there. We're going to discover something important here. I promise. This guy, Victor... I'd appreciate a chat. Is the same. He has the same voice as the the person I'm thinking of from Fallout. Uh, for some reason, I cannot think of the guy's name. It's driving me nuts. Forty six. Oh my God! You guys are OP. And that's how you get the job done. Power required. Okay, so let's follow these power cords, see where they go. We'll follow the yellow one first. Seems like it goes in there. And orange? Oh, they both go into the same place. Okay, so we gotta get back there. And it should be this one. Nice. Alright, we're in. We and Biz. Activate that power switch. What's back here? Oh, it's just another way. Okay. 
All right, hit that. This should come up. All right, further down we go. Now, who do we have here? Check all get, check out badges before allowing access. Sema Generals. Project Log. Dr. Victor Isa. Project Log. Dr. Victor. Project Log. Dr. Judith Petian. I watched the grav drive test from so the Oh, so that's what they're doing here. They're testing the grav drives. We were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing Android of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. Oh my god. Years. Decades Wait, before we know I can float in here? Of operating a crab drive can be. I wonder what they start here. No one wants to this is so weird. Stuff, I can tell. Like a bunch of pioneers racing to oh, give me that. the edges of the frontier without yeah, knowing what that. the grizzly bears in the mountains. This is so weird. So we're just floating around now? Nice. Did we make it? Who's this guy? Thank you for your money. Thank you for your patronage, sir. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the Grav Drive project. I know. What My is name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, Tim you probably already know. So we caused it. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no Okay, so that was the girl we were listening now, to. So I, I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right, and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive, this artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. So he found an artifact. All this to find out he found an artifact on Mars. I mean... I guess we need to find out about it somehow. Oh my god, I'm going too far. Stop! Stop! The zero gra the zero gravity in here is insane. Whoa, and that just shut it down. Oh, the artifact is in there. Oh, so he took the artifact, brought it here, and now this is what they were using to make grav drives. Oh! Hello, artifact Psy. Arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like a. Wait, what? It just cut the audio out. What the fuck? I kind of wanted to hear that. I guess that's not going to happen now. All right, come on, Sam. Is that Starborn? They are Starborn. Damn. Why are you here? Didn't you just say you wanted to talk? Fucking level 30. Son of a bitch. Stop it! No! Ow, I can't see you. God, Sam, you're basically useless, my dude. Yeah, get poisoned, bitch. There we go. There's another one? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Wait, so you're all humans, right? 
so who are these other starborn? I guess that's all, they're all just humans who found the artifact and put it together. Alright, note to self, if you ever see two power cells, grab them both. You'll never know if you're going to need them. Oh, right. This is one of these. Perfect. More XP for me. I mean, it ain't much, but I'll take it. God, I'm gonna fucking die. I'd rather not. Wait, did he just die? What got him? And what is that slamming? What the fuck is that? Son of a bitch, you're level 30. Why won't you not die? There you go. Okay, we just gotta leave, right? So, do I even have to continue going through here? Okay, now we should not be over and covered. We can probably get out of here. We cannot fast travel from this location. Fuck me. Fuck me to tears. All right, I guess we gotta find our way out of here the old fashioned way. Damn, this is sad. Uh, freedom, finally freedom. Oh, it took me so long to get out of there. Hello. Is that, is that the emissary? Oh shit, it is. Wow. Oh, they're both here. All right, guys, I think that is a excellent place to leave this video for today. We got a few more pieces of the artifact. I uh, did a little bit of space time travel, which was sick. Learned a lot more about the game. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, you can leave a comment, like, subscribe. You can comment something you like from the video, something you didn't like, as it would really help me improve in the future. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys.